Kristen, and today we are going to be answering some Halloween adjacent <laughs> questions. But before we yeah. do, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, become part of the family. All of the products we use in this video will be linked down in the description below. And if you like our content, definitely share with your friends and family. It helps our channel and our family grow. With that out of the way, let's just get into it and answer some questions. So number one is, what is your biggest fear? I am really, really afraid of deep water. Biggest fear? I mean, I, I mean, I'd say it'd have to do with uh, Annie and Sawyer. If something, if they were to get hurt in some way, uh, oh, that's, that's probably <laughs> the biggest fear. My favorite mythical creature is mermaid. Just because. I love, I love learning about them. My great grandpa was obsessed with them. He was in the Navy and he just loved the folklore of mermaids and told me and I just, I love everything about them. I would say probably a werewolf because um, I'm not, a, a, I'm into Halloween, but not a lot. Not as much um, as <laughs> Yeah, I'm more into Christmas. So um, definitely, I don't know a lot of mythical creatures. Uh, I would go with the werewolf just because I think it looks cool. They're always huge, even though wolves are not huge. Question number three. What is your favorite and least favorite Halloween candy? Uh, candy corn. I don't like candy corn at all. I love candy corn. Yeah, that's about it. I can think of... Your favorite. Favorite? Uh, favorite? Oh, man. Anything... I mean, anything with chocolate, really. I mean... Snickers, Three Musketeers, uh, I mean, pretty much, I mean, it's candy, so Starburst, Skittles, throwing a little bit of Mamba, um, uh, most candy, except for candy corn and, like, uh, Halloween Peeps, I don't like either. Peeps in general are disgusting. Yeah, um, Halloween or not. For me, I, okay, so my least favorite candy would have to say are the Whoppers. I, ugh, ugh, yeah, I hate no, those. I like those are disgusting. It's like chocolate um, with cardboard. Yeah, right, right. And then my favorite would have to be, and I'm just doing like during Halloween time because I love candy and yeah. that's why Jason has a hard time picking one is because yeah, he loves not candy. A favorite. Yeah. But for me, if I can pick any candy that reminds me of Halloween, uh, Tootsie Rolls. Because, yeah, I like Tootsie Rolls a lot. Yeah, because my grandpa, when he would pick out candy for uh, for the trick-or-treaters in his neighborhood, it would always be a bag of the, uh, for, like the assorted, like uh, Tootsie Roll Pops, Tootsie Rolls, and that kind of stuff. And we actually got a bag this year for the kids to keep <laughs> that tradition going. But it's just, to me, uh, Tootsie Rolls remind me of Halloween. So yeah, Tootsie Rolls would have to be my favorite. Question number four. Now this might be a harder question for Jason because he's not really into that stuff. But what is your favorite scary TV show or movie? I don't really like, I don't like scary movies. I don't like Halloween movies. But I did watch a movie when I was a kid. I can't believe how old it is now. But we all know it. We all love it. Uh, Halloween Town would probably be my number. Oh, oh, oh. And Casper. Casper and yes, Halloween Town. We have to watch that tonight. Yeah, well, without Annie and Sawyer, but yeah. She saw it already. Okay. I think so, but anyways. Yeah, well, you always have to worry about like nightmares and stuff yeah. when they're really little. Um, yeah, but. Or me, but we'll get that into it in another video. Yeah. I get random, random nightmares. <laughs> For me, since I already asked that question or answered that question in a other vlog, I'm gonna go with TV show. And I love, and I, and Jason can vouch for this because I've been watching it, um, and I'm a sucker for it, but Ghost Adventures. I love paranormal shows like that, um, especially during Halloween time. It gets me in the mood for Halloween and spookiness, and it just, I love ghosts, I guess. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say uh, Adam's Family. TV show? TV show or movie, yeah. Oh, I... It's really like, well, yeah. Yeah, I, I used to watch it, but I wouldn't say it was my favorite. Yeah, because you'll see in the vlogs from Halloween to Christmas, I'm much more into Christmas, and it feels like she's much more into Halloween, so... I, I do get into Christmas, though, just because you're into Christmas a lot. And the kids. Yeah. And if you can... If, 
You ever meet my mom? She could vouch for this. I was a Grinch before. <laughs> Before Jason came around, I hated Hallmark movies. I hated all of that, but we'll get into that. Oh yeah, in the Christmas next vlogs. <laughs> Number five. What is your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? As a kid, um, I don't remember all of them, but I think I say the ninja. I was a ninja one year. It's all black, and I had uh, um, nunchucks with me. And it was right around, right around when the original, the original Ninja Turtles came out, which is amazing movie. The original Ninja Turtle movie, amazing movie. You know how when you watch movies as a kid, then you watch them as an adult, and you see whether or not they were actually good. That one's actually good. Ninja Turtles. The, the example, Power Rangers movie. As a kid, epic yeah, movie. I love as that an movie. adult. Cheesy movie. Yeah, it wasn't great, but I still love Power love Rangers. It. But yeah. the Mighty Morphin Power yes, Rangers. Yes, yes. So, I grew up with my mom and dad, they collaborated and helped make my costumes. Uh, yeah, it's kind of similar. My mom made most of my comic costumes or my grandma did. And for me, since I already, again, answered this, I'm gonna go with one of the ones that I didn't say, and that was when I was uh, Pocahontas. I was like three years mm -hmm. old. And my grandma actually just reminded me of this because she posted a picture on Facebook. I'll have to find it and uh, share it with you guys. But it was really cute. And I was so mad at my mom because my mom put this like white long sleeve shirt under the costume that my grandma made. Because I had everything. I had the necklace. I had the costume. I had her tattoo that she has on her arm. And my mom made me wear like a long sleeve shirt. And I was so mad. I couldn't remember to this day. I'm like, Pocahontas doesn't wear a long sleeve shirt. Mind you, Pocahontas was not in Southern California in fall. So yeah. Yeah, I like Pocahontas. I love Pocahontas. She's my like number two. So next question. Same topic, but what was your favorite Halloween costume that we have done? Oh, it's easy. Luke and Mara Jade. Yeah, definitely. And Wicked. Number one. Annie was Wicked. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and, and the year, yeah, with Wicked. And then as a bonus, because not all of us were in that one, um, I did love Sawyer as baby Wolverine. Oh my god, so, it was so cute. Yeah. And I made that costume. I was yeah. so proud of myself. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd have to say that too. I think I answered this question already, but um, yeah, I definitely agree. It was our first Halloween as a family, and then the second one with Sawyer's. I do have to say, I think the only costume from that year that I liked was Jason and, and Sawyer's, just because we kind of put it last minute, and Annie was just in a grumpy mood that night. Oh, Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was Wolverine. No, you were Logan. I was Logan. And he was And he Wolverine. was baby Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a little silly. Yeah, and it was so funny. I, I'll, I'll insert the picture right here of uh, Jason with his um, with his claws out, screaming with Sawyer. And Sawyer was literally crying. So it looks like he's doing the same thing too. He was. kind of cool. <laughs> Last one out of that, that, that topic. What is one Halloween costume you've wanted to do but haven't done yet? I mean, I really always wanted to do Wolverine, so that I haven't done. All right, you want to take this one? Yes, okay. and you know um, what it is, and I wanted to be it this year, but we're not. And that was the Adams family. I've always wanted to be Morticia Adams, and I think it would be so funny and so cute if Jason was Gomez. Yeah, Gomez, and Annie as Wednesday, and huh. and Sawyer as little Pugsley. That would be just so cute. But Jason vetoed it. Mm. There was one that you wanted to be, but I was super pregnant and I couldn't, I wasn't. Which one? Deadpool and Vanessa. Oh yeah, I <laughs> did, I do want to do Deadpool and Vanessa. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of any others. I'd like to be uh, uh, Aragon. That'd be pretty cool too, okay. from Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, uh, Deadpool, Aragon, there's probably more, but those are the ones that come to mind for sure. Yeah, for me, an, one that's separate from all the others is uh, also um, Poison Ivy. I've always, I love I like Poison, Poison Ivy. Ivy. Dude, Poison Ivy and Batman, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I would do Batman. I like Batman. Number eight, out of all the decorations, what character do you like to decorate the most with? I, and there's none over here, but the rest of the house, I love decorating with skeletons. And oh, like skulls. a theme. Yeah, like, like a theme. theme. Okay. Um, I like 
pumpkins. I think because yeah, I think that's why we have pumpkins. Well, I think because when I was a kid, I always watched this classic Disney mm -hmm. Halloween special. You guys all know it. It's the I think it's called Trick or Treat. Or maybe at least I call it that. It's the Trick or Treat where Huey, Dewey, and Louie go to Uncle Donald's house, it's actually and the witch on helps Disney them Plus. out. Yeah, it's on Disney Plus right now, so definitely check it out. But I think that's probably why I like the theme of pumpkins for Halloween and pumpkin pie. That's the thing for Thanksgiving. But, yeah, true. Uh, and I, I, for Christmas, we usually do um, Santa. Santa is like one of our themes. Yeah. And, oh yeah. Uh, snowman. Oh, it has to be. Yeah, snowman. Snowman Santa, yeah. I, a lot, again, you're gonna hear me say probably a lot more during uh, the Christmas stuff because I haven't really thought of a lot for Halloween. Number nine. Number nine. How did you feel taking your kids trick or treating for the first time? First with Annie, then with Sawyer. I, the first time with Annie and then with Sawyer, with Annie it was like full circle because I remember. Not when I was her age, I don't remember that, but I remember being little and trick-or-treating with my parents, and it reminded me of that, and then now I'm in their role, so it, it just, it felt good, but it felt weird because, you know. It's like a surreal uh, Yeah, it was very surreal because now you're the parents, but uh, it was awesome at the same time. It was awesome to see her face, you know, um, she getting actually candy, fell and yeah, she did fall asleep. <laughs> and seeing her in her costume for the first time, and us doing it, and then with Sawyer, it was awesome because it was first time where I felt like, um, you know, we don't have one child, we have two, and so we're more of like a bigger family. And now we're going on this outing, Halloween, and uh, it felt more like um, how I grew up. You know, because I, uh, you know, we had three in the family, so uh, my brother and sister, and it felt more like that. So again, full circle, surreal, and just to see Sawyer's face. And he was more into it because he, he was a month older than Annie was. Yeah, and they both like candy, so it's fun. It's fun for everyone. Oh gosh, I'll insert a couple of the pictures from both of their first Halloweens. It was so cute with the, them with all their candy in front. Uh, for me. Like Jason said, it's kind of full circle, and for me, I love Halloween and I love trick or treating. And as you have already seen, Annie is already into like weird, weird, spooky stuff already. She's she's definitely my kid. It just it was really cool being able to be in the parent role instead of the kid role, um, taking my kids out to trick or treat. It's just one of my goals in life to be able to do, and just having those memories. And for me. The pictures say it all, the videos say it all. We have footage of that and maybe yeah. we'll yep. uh, share it um, in another video. But yeah, no, it was very fun. And with Sawyer, it was our first Halloween, or no, our second Halloween here, but first with him. And it was just yeah. really cool yeah. going into the neighborhood and actually seeing all our neighbors. And, okay, last question, number 10. What was the scariest experience you've ever had? So I'll go first. So my scariest experience that I can think of was we, I was in the color guard, so flag team of my band and they were playing and I was in high school. Um, we were getting ready for a competition, I believe, because we were, we were practicing, I think it was during this time, for the Christmas parade that was really big and we get like trophies for it, whatever. And, um, we were practicing upstairs and our gymnasium was old. It was like a hundred and something years old. And we it has two floors. It has the basketball court and then there's an area where you could where the like dance team or wrestling team could practice. So we were all up there, it was like eight o'clock at night, we were practicing late and we had the music on, and I can remember it clear as day. It was I Want Candy, the song I Want Candy. Mm -hmm. And we were just, we were like mid song, and all of a sudden the chord flew out of the wall, like by itself. And I'm not a skeptic, I believe in ghosts and stuff like that, so I was like freaked out a little bit. And then we plugged it back in, and it wouldn't work. And then all of a sudden the door to like the staircase started like moving and we were the only ones there. We went downstairs, nothing was there, and it was like just the freakiest experience of my life. But yeah, in a nutshell, that was pretty cool. I don't know, I think probably this is probably the scariest, but I'm not sure. I was, I think, 
think it was late teens. Um, and me and my friends thought it'd be a really good idea to go into an abandoned hospital. There'll be more on that probably later in another vlog, but let's just say it wasn't a good idea, it didn't turn out great, and uh, it was freaky and weird and scary and definitely uh, something out of like a Halloween movie. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of scary things I think when I think about it, but that one came to mind um, just because it's more Halloween than any of the others, but yeah, it was weird. It was definitely weird. If you can even imagine doing that, it was... If, if you want to hear the full story, definitely let us know in the comments below because we can do another Jason sit down story. Yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> well, I'll never do it again. So. But with that said, that was the last question, and we are a couple of days away from Halloween, so definitely hit that notification bell to see that when it comes out. But yeah, I think that's. I it think for, that's it for us. For us. But so remember, family, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Become part mm -hmm. of the family. Until then, have a family-filled day, and we'll talk to you in our next video. See you later.